one. What's up, everybody? Do <laughs> take two. Cut. Okay. Hey, what's up? It's Wellness Week Live. I am your host, DJ Anthony. Hey, don't listen to me. I'm not a healthcare professional. Always check with your doctors, etc. Okay. So I donated blood recently. I donate at least uh, twice a year. Uh, so you want to donate blood? You should. That's a great uh, charity, and you will literally save. I think it's a minimum of three lives every time you donate blood. That's not a joke. You're literally saving lives. Um, so when you donate blood, your blood goes to people, God forbid, who are in car accidents or who have, you know, cancer or other diseases and they need transfusions. So donating blood is great and you feel great. You feel like you're a trillionaire. It's like, wow, you just did something awesome. So it's a win-win. And then there's also health benefits for yourself too, for your body actually, when you give blood. So it's win, 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 win. You're helping someone, you're helping yourself. You feel great about yourself and you feel great because you're helping somebody live. Um, so what you can you expect when you donate blood? First, you're going to shit your pants. Just kidding. That's just me. I've been I've given blood over 30 times now over my course of my life, and I'm always still nervous. So don't feel like, you know, I'm there. You know, it's normal. Um, so when you go, it's it's uh, kind of, I guess, a doctor's office setting, you know, kind of hospital-esque setting. You go in there and it depends on what state you live in, whatever. But generally speaking, here's how it goes. You can make your appointment online. You can call. You can walk in and make an appointment, whatever. Now, this is different than if like your church or your school or your whatever is doing a mobile blood donation. That's a little bit different. This is when you're going into the office. So, yeah, you go and make, you know, make an appointment. Bada boom. Get in there. And you'll wait maybe 10, 15 minutes to be seated. And then they seat you <laughs> when you... um you got to fill out this questionnaire uh, or you can fill it out online and do a little bit quicker. But anyways, no matter what, you're filling out a questionnaire and it's going to ask you a shit ton of questions, maybe 70 questions, something like that, 50, 50 to 70 questions. And, you know, did you get a tattoo lately? Have you ever lived in England between the, I'm not joking now. Have you ever lived in Europe between the years of 1977 or whatever? There's reasons for this stuff. Uh, Cause you want to, the questionnaires are to help the blood donation center know if they should accept your blood or not now you may be cynical and say ah, i could lie you could lie but they're going to run the blood through a rigorous chemical and biological testing so they're going to know if you lied so you're not going to lie you know so it just helps to cut the shit and get right to the you know hey are, are you going to be a good donor or not so they'll ask you have you ever had a brain operation a derma uh uh, patch on your brain? Have you ever, um, you know, shot IV drugs? Um, have you ever had sex with a prostitute? You know, have you just, did, you know, all these questions that'll give them an idea, you know, should they accept your blood or not? Um, now, funny enough, it, it, it could be, again, something like that, like, did you get a tattoo lately? Or, you know, again, like I said, have you ever shot IV drugs, which are the IV drug things are Pretty big one, although it could be very, very small, something that's not to do with illegal activities. Uh, for instance, I got kicked out once because I had high iron in my blood. So now they don't ask that question. They do a little finger prick uh, after you get done with your questioning. Then they will prick your finger to test the blood for high, for high iron or low iron. You, you can get kicked out also. Your iron has to be between a certain level to donate blood. So one year, my iron was very high and they said, I'm sorry, you know, we can't take your blood this time. I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, so what do I do? Like, can I ever give blood again? And they're like, yeah, you can give blood again. Just come back next week. Your iron should be lower. Just stay away from red meat and different types of vegetables and your iron will dissipate a little bit on its own. Come back in and let's see. So I did. I came back the next week. They, they I had to ask, I had to answer all the questions again finger prick and my iron level was acceptable. It was good, you know? So, okay, good. I didn't donate blood. And I, so I donated the blood. Uh, again, if your iron's too low, which is typically, not all the time, but typically uh, to do with women because women of a certain age have menstrual cycles. So if you are trying to donate blood after a menstrual cycle, probably uh, your iron would be very low. So you, you can't donate or so, you know, again, uh, so it has to be right there in, in the middle somewhere, whatever the middle number is. So you, you answer your 50 to 70 questions. You get your finger pricked, uh, pricked, and then they take your blood pressure. You get a mini physical. Take your blood pressure. Make sure you don't have high blood pressure or super low blood pressure. Again, it has to be perfect or in the middle. 
And then you go to a seat somewhere, whatever, and you can give whole blood, platelets, red blood cell only, white blood, you can forget it. You know, like, uh, I'm talking whole blood cell is the norm. Most of the time people just give whole blood cell. So whole blood is going to take you probably about, mm, they say it's 15 minutes, but the prep, the questions, the beep, doop, da, 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 your whole time in there. And then after you give the blood, you got to sit for 10, 15 minutes and eat cookies and drink juice or whatever, hang out. They don't let you go. You're looking at an hour and a half probably when all said and done. But the act of extracting the blood is about 15 minutes. So you get in there and then they, uh, they put you in a chair and they ask you which arm you want to donate blood, whatever. And uh, then they give the needle and, you know, uh, the needle is a big gauge, I think it's called, or big, bigger needle uh, than if you go to the doctor's office to get like a shot for medicine. Those needles are, or, or when they draw blood at a doctor's office for testing, that needle is very like, the hole is very small. This hole is a little bit bigger. You're going to notice it. And it, it doesn't hurt, but it's annoying. It's like, ah. And then once it's in your your whatever vein or artery, you're, you're good. You know, it's just it's uncomfortable, but it's not like they're chopping your arm off. I don't love it, but again, it's for a good deed. And so the gauge is larger. And the reason why is because the larger the gauge, the quicker they can get you in and out. If it's a smaller gauge, you'd be in the chair for an hour. They don't want that. They want you in and out 15 minutes. So you sit there and they'll give you a, a rubber ball to kind of like uh, uh, move the ball around in your hand. The hand that's the arm that's giving the blood, that's the ball that you hold in that same arm. And then you go like this with the ball. That's so you can make blood move into that the bag quicker. And you're hanging out watching television. There's other people donating blood. You're all, you know, talking and bullshitting, whatever. And then when you're done, you know, they wrap you up and you can't do any exercise, no no exercise, no vigorous anything for 24 hours, no drinking alcohol, no smoking. Uh, they, they tell you, you know, go home and eat a big ass meal, you know, drink a lot of water and Gatorade and whatever juices. And so now I don't know if it's a new protocol, but you can't leave right away. You got to hang out in the cafeteria and, you know, at the minimum, hang out 15 minutes. They encourage you to have some cookies and cake and uh, juices, which they provide free for you. You can eat as much as you want because you just lost a ton of fluids. And if you don't replenish and replenish quick, you're going to, you're going to, I know for me, I get a badass headache, man, because I'm dehydrated. And uh, so you want to replenish. And so what I do is I bring uh, two bottles of Gatorade with me. So after I get done, I'll just knock those two bottles of Gatorade down and then I'll have like a banana. I'll eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And, you know, like I make sure like, and of course, I'll have some of the crap in their cafeteria too, the juices and cookies, stuff that you typically, I don't typically eat because cookies and juices are garbage. However, you need to get the blood sugar up. You got to get hydrated quickly. You're not going to die. You're not going to get hurt if you don't hydrate quickly, but. It's just you're going to get a badass headache probably. I know I do. I don't know. but uh, And they, they don't want you to feel lightheaded either because you just lost a lot of uh, electrolytes and sugars and, and, and you know, valuable, uh, n- you know, um, nutrients from your blood. So you're dehydrated essentially. So you got to get that get, get that in you. So you got to sit. You know, they want you to chill out. They don't want you to get up too quick. If it's your first time giving blood, let them know that. They're probably going to ask you. You know, then you really go slow. Don't. You know, for me, I'm a pro now. I take the blood. They take the blood. I'm like, boom, later. You know, and they, you know, but yeah, if it's your first time, you got to walk slowly, sit down, don't move fast, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, so that's it. That's that's what donating blood is like. And then uh, you got to wear the bandage around your arm, I think, for four hours. So you don't want to remove that bandage or else you start to bleed out of the little hole there. Uh, but it feels great, you know, like you're doing a great, great thing. And I always feel so honored and great because not everybody can give blood for various reasons. Uh, again, like, you know, did you just get a tattoo? Did you live in a certain country for a certain year? So so many reasons why uh, if you've had, if you ever had cancer, you can't give blood, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. So, but yeah, if you can give blood, it's a great thing to do and you should, and you know, it's okay to be scared. I, I'm, every single time I go, I'm fucking scared. So, but you know, whatever you go anyway. So that's that. If you have any questions about it further, you can ask in the comments below. And, uh, but I highly encourage you to do it because there's always a blood shortage in this country. They always need blood all the time in this country. So it's a great thing to do. 
And uh, what else? Um, yeah, if you want to give white blood cells, I think it's called platelets. It's a two-hour donation window. But you walk out and you're not dehydrated. You know, I think, yeah, that's how that works. But it's a much longer win window or more was it white blood cells or platelets? I don't know if those are the same things. But anyways, there's different ways, different durations. But whole blood is the quickest way to give blood. It's the quickest duration in time. And uh, I love it. And with whole blood, they can break that down into platelets and white blood cells, red blood cells, and different products. So it's kind of like a, a four for one bang for everybody versus just giving them white blood cells. Although if you just give the white blood cells or platelets, then They'll get more, but it'll just be more of one thing versus diversity of whole blood. So it, there's no right or wrong. You do what you like. Anyway, so um, and, and then sometimes they try to bribe you. They're like, hey, we have an Amazon gift card if you come. You know, it's like, bro, I'm not there for that shit. You know what I mean? I'll, if I want to go, I'll go. You know? So anyways, do it if you can. Uh, it's okay to be scared. I'm a chicken and I do it. And anyways, that's it, folks. Okay, I'm going to sign us out. Five, four, three, two, one. Check back live. Here we go.